Good morning, good morning. It's what a beautiful day today is, that the day that the Lord has made. Listen, I was uh, having my conversation with God this morning, and this is a good coaching moment. And God started talking to me about forgiveness. And so as I start looking up every scripture that deals with, with forgiving, I noticed that at the end it says that you will be forgiven. And so when we start looking at forgiving and are we forgiven and will we be forgiven, we have to first come to ourselves and realize that we have to forgive. We literally have to forgive if we want our sins to be forgiven, if we want our issues to be forgiven or our grievances to be forgiven. So when you decide that you don't want to forgive a person, for whatever, they, for whatever it is that they've done, then you can't expect that when you have done something that you will be forgiven. So I want you to take this moment to really and truly evaluate where you have, you have not forgiven someone because it is very important that you understand that, that forgiveness is just, it's, it's not just for them. It's not just to, to forgive them but it's also to help you. It's to help you to be restored. It's to help you get healed. It's to help you to be whole again and that you are able to move forward. Some, when you feel like you, the reason why we don't move forward a lot is because we're sitting in a place of still unforgiveness. It's residue of unforgiveness that is lingering. And so this moment is about, let's evaluate who you haven't forgiven. Who you haven't forgiven and take the time to literally go to God and ask God for forgiveness for not forgiving them because it's, it's going both ways you're not forgiving them and then you're wondering why you're not being forgiven the situation is not going away because it starts it starts with you it starts with your heart it starts with your mind it starts the way well, what you're thinking about and how it's getting into your heart so we have to ask god to to literally and truly forgive us and to help us to help us to forgive help us to heal and to forgive and so i encourage you today to do a self-evaluation on where what areas that in your life that you haven't forgiven someone or you even haven't forgiven yourself you know, so let's look at it today and evaluate it so that we can be healed and whole, that, that we can be forgiven for the things that we've done. Because none of us are, are, are innocent. None of us have, have uh, walked this life in a perfect way. So please take this moment. This is a great coaching moment because I no longer, I don't want to be in a place where um, I'm not forgiven. And so I'm asking, I'm asking God to help me to see me, to see the areas in my life that I wasn't, that I haven't been forgiven and that I'm able to go and correct it, that I'm forgiven. You know, I don't want anybody holding a grudge against me. I don't want anybody that, that I've hurt or, or, or disappointed or, or let down to, to hold unforgiveness and, and, and let alone to die in it. That's not, that's not what I want. And so as he was talking to me, that was very important to me. I mean, that, that, this thing really and truly stuck to me. So this was a, a, a coaching moment on forgiving, on forgiving. And if you know someone that, that, that you, you haven't forgiven, you know, write them a letter, text them, email them, call them, whatever it is that you have to do. But just get it right. Start get the ball a rolling. Don't I bind the spirit of, of fear and and bind the spirit that'll cause you to not want to actually um, reach out or, or or make a step forward in your in the process of your healing. You know, some of us can't can't get healed until we actually get to go through the process of the forgiving. Coaching moment. Coaching moment. So let's start. Let's let's start the process. Of getting healed you can go and look up every scripture in regards to unforgiveness and at the end of it or somewhere in it it's gonna talk about for, um, that you will be forgiven that your sins will be forgiven and we all have sin so let's not act like you know we have it and someone's someone stuck what someone's done to us is more grievance than anything that we've done sin is sin doesn't even matter all right 
So I just wanted to pop on this morning and give us, give you a nice uh, coaching moment. Please, let's evaluate this place so you can be healed and you can be whole. Father God, I just thank you right now for the process of the healing. I thank you, Father God, that we're removing unforgiveness away from us as far as the east is from the west. Father, we forgive as you will, that you we we forgive so that we can be forgiven. We thank you, Father God, that you are forgiving God and that you continually to forgive us for our sins. Father God, we thank you, Father, for sending your Son to pay the price for our sins. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that washes our sins away as far as the east is from the west. And Father God, we forgive our brothers. We forgive our parents we forgive our siblings we forgive any person that has hurt us any person that, that has misused us any person that has abused us father god we forgive them now in the name of jesus and we release it father god that we will no longer hold a grudge we will no longer hold on and harbor the anger harbor the frustration to harbor the bitterness father god that you are releasing us from it now as we speak now in the name of jesus so father i thank you for continue to expose any area in our life, Father God, that we haven't been forgiven. Any person, Father God, that we haven't forgiven now in the name of Jesus, that we may get it right, Father. I decree and declare that we have the, the strength, Father God, the strength of the Lord, the might of the Lord to get it done now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and I praise you, Father God, for the strength to forgive. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, y'all, let's get it right. Please forgive, okay? In the Jesus' name.